Okay, I want you to see this is an origin of life debate. And basically, I believe the origin of life comes from God just because it's so complex. I majored in evolutionary biology. This is kind of a big debate here. This guy right here is James Tor. He's a genius chemist saying it has to be God. This is a guy named Dave Farina. He's a biologist saying, oh no, it could have happened spontaneously. And, you know, James Tor knows a lot more chemistry than he does biochemistry. And, you know, when you have a chemical reaction, you have substrates, there's a, an enzyme quite often, then you have a product. You have to separate the products into something useful. And there's different types of products. You can have chiral versions, like your right and left hand are both hands, but you can't superimpose them on each other because they're different. They have a different chirality. And if you don't produce the correct type of chirality of a molecule, it's not going to be biologically useful. And that's another point that James Tor makes. And so, you know, they can't explain how you made your, your basic sugars, your basic proteins. RNA world, you know, can't explain DNA and vice versa and protein synthesis. Um, I just let you see this because one of the things you'll see too is the vehemence of this guy over here, whereby you'll see the atheistic, atheistic Darwinism religion, it's important to realize that, they become very angry because they need atheism for everything. And the biggest goal out of all this atheistic stuff, and I've been around this a long time, back when I was at Stanford, I initially myself thought I was going to be a, a wildlife biologist, and I was shocked to see that the wildlife biologist environment types, they hated people. They always wanted to screw over the farmer, to take the farmer's land away, to get the people out of the national parks, and they wanted population, uh, you know what, to have it controlled. And I got to see that they wanted everything that would destroy life. And that's why I, that's why I, I, I got out of that movement because they were a bunch of jerks, okay? It was, it was basically the biology arm of communism, okay? And that's one of the reasons why you see so many of these atheists are so nasty. He starts calling James Tour all these names. You'll see that and you'll see how they behave. A, a real person who's trying to figure out their religious understanding and whatnot, they'll have their doubts and their questions, but it's a reason to, discussion, okay? Whereas these atheists, they're very aggressive and they're always using some type of rage bait, emotional accusation. And the reason is their case is so weak. When somebody has a strong case, they can just say two plus two is four. But once they're weak and they're losing and they're very upset about losing, they throw out all these emotional accusations and hyperbole to try to intimidate people. But their case is bogus. So anyways, if you're curious about this thing, I'll have the link to it. I think you'll find it amusing. And the big thing is to catch is coming from a position of weakness that he uses such hostile uh, insults um, towards James Tour. James Tour, he's solid and he's really smart. The guy's a genius.